am I about to get a history lesson that I didn't know I needed? Today, I'm reacting to Credence Clearwater Revival. I heard it through the grapevine. Now, I sit here in disbelief because I've seen that song title before and it's a Marvin Gaye song. I 1 million percent have heard the Marvin Gaye version a trillion times. And I also know that it wasn't technically Marvin Gaye's song. He covered it. I think from Gladys Knight and the Pips. Right? I think we about to do I'm doing song research before. Um but when I saw Credence Clearwater Revival heard it through the grapevine, I just stopped everything. I got to hear this. I want to know the story of how or why it was covered. And I got to hear if they did this justice. This is one of the biggest, it's one of the biggest records in Motown history. I mean, it's surpassed the test of time a trillion times over. Talking about a song that came out 60s? Let's just go ahead and do the song research. This song came out in the 60s and still gets sampled and played today. Okay? Okay, I heard it through the grapevine. It's a song written by Norman Whitfield, familiar with him. Barrett Strong for Motown Records in 1966. The recording of the song to be released was produced by Whitfield for Gladys Knight and the Pips and released as a single in September of 67. It went to number one on Billboard R&B uh, singles charts and number two on Billboard pop singles chart. It shortly became the biggest selling Motown single up to that time. Okay. Then you have. What's, is this the. Okay, no, this the. The Miracles. Like Smokey Robinson in The Miracles? It sure is. The Miracles did a version? So everybody covered this song. Oh, wow. The Miracle. Oh, they were the first to record the song. But their version wasn't released until August of 68. When it was included on their album Special Occasion. The Marvin Gaye version was the second to be recorded. In the beginning of 67. But the third to be released. So everybody wanted this song. It, so what it sound like to me is. The writers wrote the song. And. They said initially it was for Gladys Knight and the Pips right. Somehow some way. Either Norman. Or Barrett, let somebody else hear the song. Let Smokey Robinson or somebody hear the song. And they was like, oh, I need that. I need that song. That one belonged to us. And Norman and Barrett had to, set to, had to tell Smokey Robinson, nah, y'all. I wrote this for Gladys Knight. Calm down. Chill. Smokey and them was like, Bump that. We making this song. And they probably, probably recorded it. But Barry Gordy or somebody said, nah, that's not how that's going to happen. This is their song. Let them release it. We'll put it on your album too. But chill. This is their song. I guarantee you that's what happened. And then Marvin Gaye, he heard it. And at, at one point, everybody in Motown heard this song and said, oh, yeah, I need this. That's what happened. 
Um, it was placed on his 1968 In the Groove. Um, and a year and a half later, where it gained the attention of radio disc, uh, disc jockeys, Motown founder Barry Gordy finally agreed to its release as a single in October of 68 when it went to the top of the Billboard's uh, pop singles chart for seven weeks from December of 68 to January of 69. And overtook the Gladys Knights in the Pips version of the song. And yeah, took their version of the song. Uh, the Marvin Gaye version has become a classic. Da, da, da. In 2004, it was placed number 80 on Rolling Stone list, the 500 greatest song. Re-ranked 81 in 2010 and 119 in 2021. That's amazing. And then Creedence Clearwater Revival have a version. Wow. And their version was successful as well. It reached number 43 on Billboard's charts with more modest success, modest, excuse me, success in other countries. I got to hear this, man. This is one of the greatest songs ever. I got to hear if CCR did it justice. Let's go. I guess it's just one of those songs it's impossible to mess up. They sound phenomenal. Oh, man. John's voice is, it could go anywhere. Ooh. 
Hey! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Uh. I like that solo. It was simple, smooth. I like that. Goodness, CCR did heard it through the grapevine. You know, this is the thing about John's voice. You would think because of how raspy and Mississippi blues-ish it is that it wouldn't fit on a lot of songs. But he can really sing. See, that's the thing. A lot of times I notice, and I'm learning this, a lot of singers, you get so accustomed to hearing them in a certain way that you box them in that, in that way. And that's why so many artists, they look for different songs to display different talent or, you know, at some point you want to branch out and do different things because... You don't want to get categorized. And it's like, even though John, John's voice isn't changing, he's going to sing how he sings, but he can sing. So it's like, even though he's going to sound the same, he can translate it. I don't know how to, how to ex describe it. I mean, you know, John killed that. They killed that. I mean, again, it's one of those songs, I mean, you have to try to make it sound bad. It's such a great song, and it feels so good when you hear it, that you, you have to intentionally try to mess it up. It's one of those songs, you know what I mean? I was th I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, is it better than the Marvin Gaye's version? No, I can't say that. Um, Marvin Gaye is just is is just different. It's just different. It's just different, you know. Um, but boy, I tell you what, it was really good. If it was the original version, I it, it, it's one of those situations that. If this was the original version and I were and I were to only know this version, I would probably just be I would be just as impressed as I am with the Marvin Gaye version as I would be with this version. Cause again, it's just such a great song. It's such a great it's a reason why everybody at Motown wanted it. Like it's a great song. Great song. And CCR did it justice and I'm happy that I got this history lesson and I heard this classic. I'm 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 really happy. I'm really happy. Great. Great cover. Great cover. Not a not a single negative word to say. And I thank you. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about it though. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time with Credence Clearwater Revival. Peace.